Winnie Marikizela Mandela considered herself a warrior. She was a powerful yet controversial figure in the anti-apartheid movement. We not only fought on political platforms. Uh, I was one of those uh, who were with the people fighting physically against uh, the apartheid regime. While her husband, Nelson Mandela, was incarcerated, she became the face of Mandela's fight against oppression. When he was released from prison after 27 years, she was right by his side. She told CNN what was going through her mind at the time. I was thinking about the liberation of my country. And uh, that was the culmination of a uh, bitter years of struggle. While their marriage withstood the battle against apartheid, it couldn't withstand the pressure of freedom. They divorced in 1996, so two years after Mandela was elected the first black president of South Africa. It's very difficult to, to revisit uh, that period, uh, even to me. In the years after the fall of apartheid, the woman who was once revered as the mother of the nation fell sharply in the public's esteem. She was convicted of theft and fraud, and a truth commission accused her of gross human rights violations, allegations she denied. When Nelson Mandela died in 2013, Winnie was at his funeral, grieving alongside his widow, Grassa Michelle. The scars of apartheid wounded Marikizela Mandela deeply, right until the end. She remained disappointed with the South Africa she had fought so hard to liberate. Nevertheless, she says it was well worth the sacrifice. We won in the end. We were free. Let's get straight over to our David McKenzie, who's on the ground for us in Johannesburg now. And David, as we were just hearing from Robin's report there, uh, Madiki Zela Mandela was the mother of the nation to some, but a criminal to others. Well, I think it might be, uh, you know, time has passed and really the prevailing sentiment, I think, in South Africa is that of the mother of the nation. Uh, just coming over to the studio now, is listening to ANC stalwarts, ordinary citizens calling in to prof uh, profess their great sadness at the passing of Winnie Mandela. Uh, she was the mother of the nation and a highly controversial figure, as Robin puts in that report. But it must be remembered that she is so much more important important than just her name and her association, of course, with Nelson Mandela. Uh, they were married just a few years before he was incarcerated for more than 20 years, of course, and she became really the face and the voice of the anti-apartheid struggle that kept uh, the image and uh, uh, the, the sentiment of her husband alive and uh, really became a figure in her own right, Hannah. She was hounded by the apartheid police, put in a remote uh, town under house arrest, uh, convicted uh, of anti-apartheid uh, actions. Uh, and really, it was Winnie Mandela, not Nelson Mandela, who was the voice, amongst uh, many others, of course, of the anti-apartheid movement. After the end of apartheid, there were controversies. Uh, she was convicted of kidnapping in a very strange and murky case uh, uh, re revolving around a football team. But it really seems like in the, 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 the last few years, and, and she remained a member of parliament until the day she died, uh, she really was a universally loved figure amongst ANC members, particularly the youth and perhaps the more left-wing elements of the party. So I think today, at least, there'll be a, a great deal of sadness in the country and many uh, showing, as also Robin reported there, that the great sacrifices she made, uh, her and her family, uh, as Nelson Mandela spent all those uh, years in jail. Hannah? And uh, you mentioned there, David, that she was a member of the ANC for most of her life and that she held various positions within the, the government in the post-apartheid South Africa as well. Uh, what news have we heard so far from, from the government and perhaps plans for some sort of state funeral for this woman? 
Well, there certainly will be a very uh, large gathering at the memorial service. The family said they are announcing that uh, service at some point, and we'll hear from the government and the ANC. Uh, the, uh, the chief whip of the ANC in Parliament, of which, of course, Winnie Mandela was very active until uh, she had this uh, sort of this struggles with her illness, was just saying how even up till the last few weeks, though she wasn't as active in Parliament, she was always a voice of uh, advice. Uh, and uh, never afraid really to speak her mind. And that made her uh, both a loved and a controversial figure in the post-apartheid era. Winnie Mandela was, was certainly not someone who, uh, from the very beginning, uh, when, her, uh, when Nelson Mandela was put in jail, she was never a wallflower. In fact, she was the very opposite. She became the, the radical struggle cry of the nation uh, and many Many people will be uh, mourning her lo the loss of Winnie Mandela, just another great struggle icon that has passed away in recent years in South Africa, and I'm sure the government will announce uh, those plans in the coming hours. Hannah? As she died at the age of 81, we understand that she died in hospital after what's just been called a, a long illness. Do we have any more details on, on what exactly uh, she'd been battling over the last uh, recent months? No, they haven't given any details, and the, the family says they'll be releasing more details. She has been struggling with that illness uh, on and off for quite some time. Uh, she did rally for her 80th birthday, which was quite extraordinary to see her with some of the, the greats of uh, South African politics there surrounding her. Uh, she was uh, uh, always at big events and, and often controversially uh, seen with opposition uh, leaders of the more radical left in South Africa. So this was someone who always spoke her own mind. Uh, was at times mired in controversy, but uh, universally will be uh, lauded as an iconic figure in South Africa.